Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Dane. Today, I'm going to be sharing just some things that God's been showing me throughout this last week. This last week, I had a very busy week. Um, it was really good. I was spending some time with family and then also um, went to a kind of conference camp, I guess you would call it, with uh, the ministry I'm involved in, which is an addiction ministry. And I just seeing all the things that God is doing throughout, you know, our region and the testimonies and the and the people that He's raising up is just like, man, I'm I'm fired up from it. It was just like I could feel it right now. It's just God is doing a mighty work in people. God is moving. God is speaking. And so I just wanted to share something that He showed me over the last week um, and tie it in with just the teaching and. So this is geared towards people that, you know, maybe feel like what they're going through isn't fair. And in some sense, maybe it's not. Um, you didn't ask for it. And the, the trials and the, and the things you're going through and having to deal with, whether that's like demonic oppression, um, you know, how people are treating you maybe your current situation in life, whatever it is, I want to tell you that with the right perspective, you can you can see how God's moving through those things. And this is really important because without perspective, we can become really, um, you know, downtrodden and, and beaten down and wore out and tired and, just become the victim of life. And sometimes God uses those things to strengthen us. But with the right perspective, we can see how like, and the Bible talks about this over and over, about how our trials have purpose and God is strengthening us, strengthening us and, um, building our character and forming our reliance on him, building our faith. There's so many things that are done in the trials and the um, tribulations that we go through. So with that perspective, you're able to kind of like, you know, lean into God more and trust him in the process. So I want to give you like a, a picture of how God showed me this. It was just like, so, so deep. Like, so I'll just tell the story. Um, I, so I'm walking with my uncle and my father and we're along this trail that's basically overlooking the ocean and I'm on like a cliff, there's a beach below me so I'm walking up this bluff, like this cliff that goes up and on the ridge, on the ridge line of this bluff, there's trees that are lined right here. So it's basically like the beach and the ocean is to my left. I'm up on the top of this ridge line and there's a trail with grass. And then to my right, there's a tree line. And I'm noticing the trees on this front line. And they're all like kind of interesting looking. They're <laughs> kind of tore back in a lot of ways from the wind, it's like it's a heavy wind that comes against these trees at all times, pretty much, blowing up the bluff from the ocean, up the bluff, and the wind's whipping through there. So a lot of these trees are, um, you know, limbs missing. <clears throat> They're disfigured in some ways. I even noticed that the bark on them was different. It was thick and it was um, calloused in some ways, right? But something I noticed, I look behind these frontline trees and there's like a forest behind there and all those trees are straight. And they're both beautiful in a sense, right? But these other, these other trees that were behind these frontline trees, it's like they were protected by, <laughs> by the, the frontliners, you know, by these trees, these trees were taking all the brunt of the wind and the impact from, um, 
you know, uh, the impact from the wind and the storms, right? It was like they were shielding the rest of these trees. And I believe it's such a deep uh, spiritual principle there is like, you know, sometimes we don't, like those trees didn't choose to be on the front line. It's like, that's just what they're given. But the resistance of the wind and the storms, like they took a beating, but it caused their bark to grow different. You know, it's like, you know, that's kind of symbolic of like thicker skin. And though they went through these storms that even left them maimed and, you know, like some of them were missing. You could tell that at one point winds had blown off the top of them and then they restarted, started regrowing. Limbs were missing, all this stuff. But I knew there was something deeper to it. I looked up something about trees that face winds and trees need wind to blow against them because it causes their root systems to grow deeper. And when the root systems grow deeper, it makes the ability for the trees to go higher possible. So the wind, the resistance, you know, the trials, the storms, they force the roots down. It actually makes the trees stronger. So these trees that are on the front line are actually stronger than the, the, the prettier ones, you know, in the back that are shielded by this. And so a lot of you guys I know that watch my channel are people that experience things that other people don't. But it's for a purpose. I know you didn't choose it and maybe you don't like it, but if you realize that what you're going through is going to help the people behind you, like that are coming behind you, that God is trying to put you in position. You've been chosen, you know, you've been chosen for things that other people can handle. And sometimes it, it feels like you can't handle it either, but that's only because you're in process. You know, there's a stretching and there's a growing and, you know, the resistance is needed. It'll take you to the, the point of you breaking, you know, but then your capacity for uh, enduring and going through different trials increases and increases, right? So just think about that. It's like there's there's so much purpose in what we go through. And I just thought it was interesting, man. Like, I wish I had a, a clip of these trees, but they looked so different <laughs> than the other trees behind them. And it was just all along the ridge line. And the front line was just, they were built different. They had to be, because they, they couldn't withstand the storm if they didn't learn to adapt. So I think that's the message is like, you gotta learn how to Put your roots down deep into God or else you're going to get toppled over. And so when we keep in, in mind that what we go through is not actually for us, but for others. And that all has to has to do with perspective and the call that God has on our life. It's like, so God is raising up people to go through certain things, not for not for your sake, but for others, right? And that's why I believe in the whole concept of being chosen. It's like, because I know that I didn't ask for that. I know that you aren't asking for that. No one really asked to go through <laughs> trials and tribulations, especially the really, really tough ones, but... you need to realize that it's not forever. And if we allow God to mold us and shape us in the way that he wants, things start to make sense and God starts giving us a vision for why we've been through the things that we've been through. So this one, this word's not super long, but my really 
uh, felt that someone needed to hear this and yeah I got a I got a lot of a lot more things God's been putting on my heart but I'm trying to keep it you know a little more within um, you know what I'm gonna be speaking about so I'm just gonna end in prayer Lord I pray uh, over everyone watching this who is blowing through the winds the the strong winds the the trials and the storms of life, God, whatever that looks like, God, I pray that you would allow them to experience the growth that they're intended for. Yes, I, I guys, I just, I forgot I was going to say something. So I wanted to talk about also the deepening that suffering and trials creates in us. Like people that overcome hard things, right? It, it creates a depth in their soul. It creates, it creates like space, right? It's like almost their capacity for empathy and understanding is grown through suffering and so i know that's not maybe that's not what you want to hear but it's true like i can't describe how how much this has deepened me as a person like going through the hard times like now i i look at people and i'm just like it, it it's a it's a place where god can really really use us right because if we can't relate to people's sorrow or people's pain, how can we love them where they're at? We can't relate to them. We don't know what they're going through. But when you've been through really deep, heavy things, it's like you know what you know where someone's at when they're in pain. You know where, where someone's at when they're tired of living, you know, because you've been there, but it's like with the strength that we receive from God, we can give that to others. I can't give someone something that I don't have. You know, so I can't, does that, I hope that's making sense, you guys. Like, there's a purpose, I'm saying all this to tell you that there's purpose in what you're going through, but we have to get our eyes off our own suffering and realize like, You know, what if you, what if you could help 10 people with your story? What if, what if your suffering would alleviate the suffering for 20 people, five people, what, whatever. I mean, imagine the fulfillment that you get out of your life when God uses what you've been through to help others. And that's the point. But until you have that perspective, I don't know if there's a, a way to get through all the suffering in in a better place, you know? So I say this as someone that has gone through that and I, I didn't always have that perspective. You know, it's very easy to get discouraged, like I said, but now I'm on the other side of that where it's like, I could see how all that stuff was, all the stuff I've been through is, was actually good for me. Cause I see how God's used it now. And you don't, you don't ever forget those times that you've been through. Like I, I can feel it right now. You know, it's like, I remember where I was at when I didn't have hope when I was going through all these things, but it's like, I'm not there anymore. And like, look, like God is good. I am proof. <laughs> Just like my shirt and my hat say, it's like, like he'll use it. He'll use it all, but you have to, you have to learn from these times. You can't just give up. There's only one way through it. So yeah, sorry, my prayer got cut off there, but I wanted to say that like the deepening and, you know, God's widening your, your capacity for empathy and really like ministry. 
right? And people, people, people know when you're genuine. You know, like the old saying, like real recognizes real. It's true. So the the people that this is for, like this is gonna resonate. Like you're gonna, f I don't have to convince you because you already know what I'm saying is true. But there's a lot of people out there that just need like a perspective shift. And I feel like that's what God is calling me to do. And a lot of these videos is just like, look, think about it in a different way. You have to, you have to figure out a different way or you're gonna be miserable at all times because the front line looks different. It looks different than people that aren't on the front line. You know, it's really like <laughs> frontline warfare. You guys, you guys know it's it's nothing like being back at at camp, not doing nothing, right? You're out there as a soldier, right? So a lot of you guys, I know God is doing this in a lot of people. I know that because <clears throat> of the responses on some of my videos. But until we look to God for perspective, we're going to be off. So that's my encouragement to you guys. Please let me know if uh, this was helpful. And I'll see you on the next one. God bless y'all.